Hey everyone, it's Jordan Faith. Here on my channel, I do all sorts of things with the curly girl method. If you're interested in that, please subscribe. I upload a new video every Thursday. Today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how I got these results with damp styling and just the curl talk mousse. Let's head to my shower to get started. Here we are in my shower. I am just gonna get my hair soaking wet and you might notice I got a new shower head for Christmas from my husband, so I'm very excited about that. And then I'm gonna take the As I Am Classic Coconut Co-Wash and use a generous amount to co-wash my hair and my scalp. So I'm just spreading that all over my scalp so that I get some product in every area. And then I'm just gonna gently scrub with my fingertips to break up any debris or oil or anything that might be on my scalp just so I can get a really good clean. I decided to use a co-wash for this video just to show you that co-washing doesn't have to weigh your hair down. So I'm just really taking my time and gently rubbing my scalp with my fingertips all over in every area. And I'm adding some water, then taking my silicone scalp massager, just as an extra measure to really make sure that I get a nice deep clean on my scalp, that everything is removed. Co-washes are gentler than shampoos. So you really need to do that physical exfoliation to make sure that you're getting rid of any debris or buildup or anything on your scalp. Then I'm going to gently scrub as I rinse that out. And then use the Inasi Soothing Mint Moisturizing Conditioner. to condition the lengths of my hair. So the co-wash was replacing my shampoo for my cleanser step. And now this is going to be my conditioning step. So I'm just smoothing that over and raking that through and finger detangling, starting from the bottom and working my way up. Then I'm going to brush it through with my wet brush just to make sure that that's evenly distributed throughout my hair. And leave it on for the duration of my shower and then rinse it out completely. And I just moved out into the other room to style. And I'm just getting my hair soaking wet again with clean water by dunking it in that bowl and using my spray bottle to wet the top just so it's back to that soaking wet point that it would be in the shower. Then I'm going to take the Curls Blueberry Bliss Leave-In Conditioner and work that through focusing on any areas that I might have extra dryness and just really smoothing that on. You might be able to notice, I think my hair is starting to fill back in I'm about seven months postpartum now, and I've pretty much stopped my postpartum hair loss. And so I think my hair density is starting to come back up and be more like medium density and less low density. But I still definitely don't have tons and tons of hair on my head. 
So I'm just working that leave-in conditioner through and then I'm gonna brush it through with my Perfect Hair Care brush. Just to help bring everything together, make sure that product is distributed, lay down any stray hairs and help my clumps start to form. You can see how nicely that brush helps to form my clumps in little ribbons. It's very helpful in the styling process. Now I'm just going to thoroughly squish that in to make sure the product is moisturizing my hair and to encourage curl formation all over. And I'm raking the hair off the back of my head so that nothing sticks and looks weird and I'm making sure to turn my head side to side and do scrunching in that direction as well so that my hair has the best chance of not looking wonky when I turn upright. I'm just adding some more water with my spray bottle and smoothing it on and scrunching it in just to help those clumps come back together a little bit. You'll notice that there's a big difference between shower clumps and styled clumps. Shower clumps, you'll usually have like five or six of them and they're really, really big and juicy and that's good. But when you're styling, you're gonna want them to break up at least a little bit because they will get bigger when they dry and when you scrunch out your cast. But if you try to style those six giant sausage clumps, then they're just probably gonna fall apart on you because you really need to break them up and get the product on smaller curl clumps to help your curls hold in their natural pattern. So now I'm just squeezing out some water with my hands and then micro plopping with this microfiber turban hair towel to help start the drying process. I'm going to be damp styling and just barely damp styling today even. So I'm squeezing out water and then micro plopping, which is squeezing out water with the towel to really take my hair from soaking wet to just damp. And then I am going to air dry for 20 minutes. And it won't be anywhere near fully dry at that point, but it will be just barely damp. And that's when I'm gonna go in and style with the mousse. I decided to use the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Mousse. And I'm taking a generous amount, patting it between my hands and then glazing it over my hair very gently because my hair is not soaking wet anymore. So I wanna be as gentle as I can while still getting the product distributed evenly so that I don't completely bust up my curl clumps and just end up with a frizzy mess. So I'm being very gentle 
and then I am going to scrunch this in. I'm doing a full scrunch. It's a gentle scrunch, but it is a full scrunch. I'm not just doing an open palm scrunch. I'm gonna turn my head to the side, add some more mousse, especially to my problem areas like that back section. And again, gently scrunch that in. And this helps with volume because my hair is not soaking wet at this point. My hair is not even close to soaking wet. It's just barely damp. So it's not going to be weighed down by water and my product is not going to be diluted by the water at this point. So it'll be more concentrated product. It's a mousse, which is already supposed to help with volume and my hair is just barely damp. So the water won't be pulling down on my curls and stretching them out and pulling them down and weighing them down to my head. So this is a routine that I wanted to show you all for less definition, but a lot more volume. And it's also gonna dry quicker because you're not styling on soaking wet hair. Your hair will take longer to dry after you put stylers in it. So I air dried a little first and now I'm putting the styler in. So it's not gonna take quite as long to dry from this point. And that's how it's looking styled. I diffused for 20 minutes on low heat, low speed, starting with hover diffusing and then moving on to pixie diffusing. You can check out this video to see how I did it. So now my hair is completely dry. It was not 100% dry when I stopped blow drying. It was probably about 80 or 90% dry and it's been air drying ever since. It's several hours later now just because I had things to do. Now it's time to scrunch out the crunch and fluff my roots. I do find with damp styling and with the curl talk mousse, my cast is a little bit tougher to scrunch out. That's partly because my clumps are smaller. So not only are there more of them to scrunch, but there's less hair within the clumps that wants to break free from the cast. So it does take a little bit more work to break up this cast but I just clap when I'm having issues. But if I'm having issues breaking up my cast, I will clap out the crunch or smooth out the crunch, which is basically just what it sounds like. So I'm clapping my hands on my hair and then I'm basically doing praying hands on dry hair just to help break up any stubborn cast that I couldn't get with scrunching. These are the results. I really like how it turned out. It's got lots of volume while still having a good bit of definition. It's smaller curl clumps than I usually have, but that helps to give a bigger look. I think this has more of a beachy vibe to it and I really like that. Overall, I'm very happy with it. Although I was a little bit nervous and iffy when I was waiting in the cast to scrunch out the crunch and see the results because it was looking a little wonky. Do you prefer this look with a little bit smaller clumps and more volume or do you prefer the more defined, bigger curl clumps? Tell me in the comments below. If you liked this video, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button. Subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell if you wanna see more of my uploads. And I will see you next time.